13 and verse 1. Uh, Hosea chapter 11 and 12. Remember what we learned? Uh, God's uh, attitude changed. <coughs> all the things that you learn in Hosea is all very um, negative, a lot of curses. But in chapter 11 and verse 8, he says, I know you are so wretched, but how can I give you up a frame? God's attitude totally changes and says, you know what, I cannot give you up. And then, at the same time, he says, I am going to bring you back to myself. And also, in chapter 12, he tries to remember and remind Israel his history. Sometimes, you know, when you talk to people about how um, things were in the past, that really churns them and say, wow. You remember when back home in India what we used to do? You know, the child is going away from the parents, you know, the father calls, you know what, I used to carry you on. Remember I used to sit on the cycle at the back and then we, I used to... All that reminds and says, so see how far I have come away from God. That's what God is doing in chapter 12. He says, see, he starts from the beginning of his birth, from his mother's womb, what he did to Esau. And then he continues to talk about how he came out of the land of Egypt, verse 9. And, uh, and he talks about how, uh, you know, uh, God was watching him all through. So in chapter 13, uh, God is continuing in the same lines, trying to rebuke Israel for going away from him. Verse 1, when Ephraim spoke, men trembled. He was exalted in Israel. But he became guilty of Baal worship and died. See, this is a very rich verse. I'll tell you why. In King James Version, it's a little different. Uh, in NIV it says, in a, When Ephraim spoke, men trembled, and he was exalted in Israel. What is it? Anybody has a King James Version? He exalted himself in Israel. No, no, no. Read the whole verse. When Ephraim spoke... No. King James Version. Spain. Yeah. Trembling, he exalted himself in Israel, but when he offended in Baal, he died. Yeah. So when Ephraim spoke, what happened? Trembling. Men trembled. He was exalted in Israel. So, uh, did you read uh, King James? Did you read King James? Okay. So here it says, when Ephraim spoke, men trembled. So what kind of person should that be? A person speaks and people are afraid. A person of authority. Yeah? A person of authority. So it means to say what, what happened to Ephraim? God blessed him so much that he became a man of authority. You remember man, the man called Lot, the nephew of uh, Abraham? Genesis chapter 19. You know where he was sitting? City gate. Yeah? City gate. What does it mean? He was an immigration officer. He had the authority to choose who comes and who goes out. Port of entry. You know, <laughs> scary fellow. You know, but he has their powers. I don't want you to come in, so you can't come in. That's it. So here, person of authority. He was exalted in Israel. <coughs> but even he was exalted in Israel, you know, remember last Sunday I talk, talked about this. God, no, I think not uh, last Sunday. I think uh, Haman's house. God tests us even in our prosperity. You know, some people don't know how to handle success. Young children, they don't know how to handle freedom. Do you think freedom is essential? Yes. Some people don't know how to handle freedom. That shows their immaturity. Some people don't know how to uh, handle money. $80 million contract, an NFL player, and five years he uh, files bankruptcy. What does it mean? He didn't know how to handle money. Having a lot of money, is this not what the goal of the whole world is? But what's happening? They don't know how to handle it. What God did was he exalted these people, but when God exalts, what you do with that is what we need to look at this. I'll show you two verses. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10 to 12. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verses 10 to 12. When the Lord your God brings you into the land he swore to your forefathers 
to fathers to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to give you a land with large flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig and the vineyards and the olive groves that you did not plant. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. When? When your stomach is empty or when your stomach is full? God says, don't forget me when is one? When your stomach is full. You know, people don't have a problem in remembering God in their problems. We all run to God whenever we have a problem. But the time when people don't remember God is when their stomach is full. And God gave them a warning. You know, when is Deuteronomy. So, in Deut what is the timeline of Deuteronomy? Where are they when Deuteronomy was uh, told? They were still in the desert. They still did not go to the promised land. Even before they went to the promised land, God says, you know what, hey, you guys will be successful. I am giving you all that. But I'm, once you get that, you know what? Don't forget me. Chapter... Um, 8 and verse Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11 onwards chapter 8 and uh, verse 11 onwards be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God failing to observe his commands his laws and his decrees that I am giving you this day otherwise look at this when you eat and are satisfied when you build fine houses and settle down and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increase and all you have is multiplied then your heart will become proud and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. slavery. You know when God is saying you could become proud? Not when you don't have anything. It's only when you have everything. So what happened to Ephraim? Ephraim became exalted. So when Ephraim became exalted, what did Ephraim do? Chapter 13, Hosea chapter 13 and verse 1 second part. But he became guilty of Baal worship. See, God exalted. What is the result then? What did he start worshipping? Yeah, he started worshipping the Baal. started worshipping an idol. Who gave you all the food? Who gave you all the money? Who gave you houses? Who gave you cars? Who gave you jobs? God gave. But where is our uh, mind? Yeah? Mind is on the money. Mind is on popularity. Mind is on, you know, uh, something else so we may not have a physical idol today but we have our own idols today so here God is saying you know what I am giving you everything but he became guilty of Baal worship and there is something very interesting there you know what is the word used there what is the last word of verse 1 chapter 13 verse 1 and died God said see when you say parents 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 you are dead to me, enter together. No, na kosam, na ku. Sachpoyna varita samaram enter. You are dead to me, enter. What does it mean? Puru, you are dead to me. Ani one intlo bedkun thala. Tell me something. Kodukuni, see, there has been a uh, there there has been a problem in relationship, right? So the father says to son, you are dead to me. Ani vachi intlo vachi thindra kuchh dam thay thindam. Kya triple ko bodham enter? No. You know what is the death, the order meaning of death? Death is separation. God says, my children are now separated from me. What is the reason? When God gave the prosperity, you turned around to another idol. So, we need to ask, is this not true in our lives today? That's why humility is what is so important. You know, we need that humility. Always be under God's authority. Always acknowledge God and say, Lord, I am nothing. It's all because of you. Right? All because of you. Remember this man who had a lot of money who said this? Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 7. He is the richest man on the earth. You know what he is praying? Chapter 30, Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 7, 8 and 9. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Then he talks about money. Give me neither poverty nor riches. But give only me, give me only my daily bread. Give me only my daily bread. Don't give me 
riches nor poverty. Why? Verse 9. Otherwise, I may have too much and do what? Deny you. I may have too much and disown you. And then, and say, who is the Lord? Or, I may become poor and so dishonor the name. I'm poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. You know, who is this man? The man who had 666 kilograms of gold as a gift given to him every year. His, his uh, throne was, I think, you know, uh, throne had uh, close to 12 lions. You know, it was a 12-story uh, throne. Silver was like dirt for him. Silver was equal to dirt. That's the kind of man he is. And he says, Lord, don't give me more. And don't give me less. Give me my... What, is, what did Jesus teach? Give us this day our daily bread. Blessed are the poor in spirit. You know what is the meaning of blessed are the poor in spirit? Yeah? What is the meaning of blessed are the poor in spirit? Huh? What is, what is the meaning of that? Blessed are the poor in spirit. See, if you are poor, what does it mean? You can get more. You go and ask people, Right? You are poor, so you lack things. So what do you do? You go and say, please give me something. Right? So this is what we go to Jesus and say, Lord, please give me up your spirit. Yeah? Please fill me with your spirit. So spiritual things, law, uh, pride, panikiradu. Spiritual things, though, you cannot become proud. Yeah? I'll tell you, sometimes, you know, we, I mean, having read the Bible several times, having taught the Bible several times, when you say, let's look at that, it's a sin, a sin, mind, a sin, 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 don't we know what the, I mean, theology is <laughs> now, you know, Doctor, you know, 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 why? Because the ultimate point is, Lord, what do the people need? I don't know. I am like a postman. I am like a guy who is serving the food. I don't know what food to serve. So, therefore, what happens is, I have a problem. Because I don't know what to pass to, pass to the people. So, you become so empty. See, with all the degrees that people have, you know, where you have to go? You have to go on your knees. And you see the answers. Sometimes I have spoken in some churches, some places, small groups, big churches, big conventions. Asalu, I don't even know what is going on in that church. And I picked up some Bible study somewhere. I took a book of Obadiah in a church in Hyderabad. I put in the Rata, Andruchi, Niko Pastor Jepinaga, I'm a church, I am a mind on. Don't I mean, Jepil? What some story Tallin at Jepina? I don't know, the Obadia Grand and Jepina Wagon. I taught book of Obadiah. So God tells the preacher what to speak. So it's not because you know some hero Japedamu the Cassidation Damani Gadadi. You know that humility is required. Even for a preacher, Manchi, Manchi thought uh, Sanjay Japanad. You may have grown any level of height in your faith life, even at that level, God will test you. Job kuna viswasam managledu. Kabati managanta nashtam radu. Vakarozilo padman the pillar that you put on Astan, Tokrozilo, Vimato, City by Don Kuchoni, Penkul, this Kuni, Kilda, Rabjas, Kundunte, Bari Ochi, and Tari. Yeah? I heard the other day somebody said, The wife did not say, Go and commit suicide. Sauradu and Lil. Edi Sauradu and a Kamundi Evanel? Curse God and die. And other men, the Yorzam Palinu. They would have. Antanta Purisha Matal Vinasachin. But you know what he said? In all this, Job did not sin. You know what does it mean? You know, that's a kind of faith this man had. So, these people got so much of blessings, they forgot God. Kantamandi Kudiga level Perigintarata, or Marshpendra, or Gatam Marshpendra. Yeah, he forgot what where he came from. And the Inta Bades. Yeah? So that's what God is saying. Andhukani, you are dead. 
Dead and tournament, we are separate. You know what is the what is hell? You know, that's where God does not uh, show up. Not that He cannot show up. He created that. He doesn't come there. Death and separation. Body, soul, spirit. We will put it. do inhale jeshnam, exhale jeshnam. Malla body loki air pola. You may pin that. Huh? You may pin? Dead body. You don't even call that person by name. Is it a dead body? I heard, a, I saw some video. There's a man who retired. I don't know if you watched that. Facebook lo chindi. Retirement type in the Manchiga company executives under Gutsunar or a family Gutsunaru. He gave a farewell speech and a farewell speech, Chepi. I'm so thankful to him and all. He has been so a great blessing. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to the company and I'm so happy that you really made my day. Just that. He didn't even finish his farewell speech. He was still sitting in the office. While a kutru phone this kuni record just Daddy, am I even forget to touch him? Am I pain? Gone. Now, if brain just in the brain in China, but am I just a dead body? In the wet court, you have to go take it out. Right? That's what God's saying. Death and a separation. So He says, I exalted you, but you went after other gods, so therefore you are. That verse 2. Now they no because of that, Pudemi that day, Pru exit exit clone on the Pru journey to both exit to going through the MIT, our distance very both. Right? See verse 2. Now they sin more and more. They make idols for themselves from their silver, cleverly fashioned images, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of these people, they offer human sacrifice. What a Kentor Gwinjurundi. See, the, the, the down spiral, the spiraling down is going to human sacrifice. Human sacrifice usually ever gives you all the They used to offer it to the elder son. Really? But they used to do that. Now, now they sin more and more. Why? Because they Mindset, you, you try to get that. I saw a picture of Hillary Clinton falling down from steps. Steps in it, little, little, little. Ben Ghazi, the Antara, the steps in it. Akanundi, okay, four pictures in it. Ben, the Hillary Padatamanidi, as she is falling. So the caption is This is how she fell. One step at a time. Samson, one step at a time. You see, the fall is never for a believer sudden. It's a, it's never uh, uh, sudden. It's always gradual. Man, one could have suddenly got a bad day. Suddenly, what led? If you know, part of the man, they led. Here, see where they went away from. See, Baal worship the Karnundi. All the Kudukuli Zamparan work with children. Look at verse uh, two, second part. They offer human sacrifice and kiss the calf idols. You know what was their uh, way of uh, offering worship? Their offer, offering worship was to kiss the idol. Look at verse uh, 3. Therefore they will be like the morning mist, like the early dew that disappears, like chaff swirling from a threshing floor, like smoke escaping through a window. So God says, because of that, I will punish the people like this. Verse 4. But I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt. You shall acknowledge no God but me, no Savior except me. See, this is where God's love is. You know, that's what I told you, right? God keeps reminding your past. Right? You remember those days? It was, oh, bah. you know what? That just kills you. God is saying, you know what? I brought you out of Egypt, man. And then, you shall have no other, so what is, you shall acknowledge your God and you, you shall acknowledge no God but me, no Savior except me. So what is he talking about? First commandment. You shall have no other gods beside me. Look at verse uh, 5. I cared for you in the desert and in the land of burning heat. Did really God care for Israelites in the desert in the burning heat? Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 5 says, Their clothes were not soiled, their sandals were not torn. 40 years. 
అట్లాంటి కంపెనీ దొరికితే మాత్రం మనం కంపల్సరీ కొనమే ఐ హ్యావ్ వన్ టీ షర్ట్ ఐ బాట్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్ నవంబర్ ఇన్ సింగపూర్ ఒక బ్లూ టీ షర్ట్ వేసుకుంటే నేను చూసి మీకు చూసే ఉంటుంది ఒక వరల్డ్ మ్యాప్ లాగా ఎట్లా ఉంటుంది సింపుల్ ఉంటుంది అది ఐ వెంట్ టు హగ్గా ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ గ్రేట్ ప్రివిలేజ్ ఫర్ మీ టు బీబుల్ టు గో దర్ సో ఆ టీ షర్ట్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్లో ఉన్నది ఇప్పుడు ఏంటిది టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ వాడికి చెప్తుంటా అరే చూడరా అది టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్లో ఉన్నదిరా అంటే గెట్ లైఫ్ డాడీ అంటున్నాడు వాడు అంటాడు పద్నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు ఎవడన్నా వేసుకుంటాడు అన్ని సంవత్సరాలు గెట్ లైఫ్ డాడీ అంటాడు యూనో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద మంచి సూపర్ క్వాలిటీ ఇప్పుడు కూడా బట్ యూ నో వాట్ దట్ రిమైండ్స్ మీ ఫోర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్కే మనం ఎంత చేస్తే ఫార్టీ ఇయర్స్ దే డెంట్ హ్యావ్ టు యూనో వాష్ దేర్ క్లోత్స్ దాట్స్ అ మీనింగ్ దే సిస్టర్స్ విల్ బి వెరీ హ్యాపీ అది యాడ్ నో చెప్పాయి నాకు బట్టలు ఉతికి సస్తున్నాం కదా no soil no uh, no wearing away of the shoes and says look at verse 6 when i fed them they were satisfied when they were satisfied they became proud then they forgot me god is repeating again you know what see when they were hungry you know what i did then i fed them when i fed them they were satisfied when they were satisfied they became proud and then they forgot me so look at verse 7 and 8 now so i will come upon them like a lion like a leopard i will lurk by the path like a bear robbed of a cubs you know what is the meaning of bear robbed of a cubs yeah put kodi aina kuda yeah appude podigund ankonde chinna kodi pillalu unnai aa mother ku unna dhairyam evvu nilavaledu aa kodi pillalanu touch chestam anni anukunte ganaka aa kodi petta maatramu అసలు యూ రన్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ బేర్ అ బేర్ రాబ్డ్ ఆఫ్ రాబ్డ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ కబ్స్ సో దిస్ బేర్ హ్యావ్ చిల్డ్రన్ అండ్ సంబడి స్టోల్ దెమ్ సో ఎంత యాంకర్ ఉంటుంది సో గాడ్ సేస్ లైక్ అ బేర్ రాబ్డ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ కబ్స్ ఐ విల్ అటాక్ దెమ్ అండ్ రిప్ దెమ్ ఓపెన్ ఆ లైక్ అ లయన్ ఐ విల్ డివర్ దెమ్ అ వైల్డ్ యానిమల్ విల్ టేర్ దెమ్ అపార్ట్ యూ నో వాట్ గాడ్ డస్ when we make a mistake and we want to be set right god doesn't do that ah inga lele chare it's okay he says i have to deal with that problem sin look at man sin wages of sin is what death but the gift is what gift of god is what eternal life eternal life ra ante inga wala inga wala death ra wala yorku che yorku death ra wala manushi ki death ra wala yes prabhu em annadu ఆ డెత్ నేను తీసుకుంటాను జడ్జ్మెంట్ తేడా అయిందా ఇట్ ద జడ్జ్మెంట్ చేంజ్ నో జడ్జ్మెంట్ ఇన్ చేంజ్ ఓ క్యాన్సర్ వెళ్ళిపోవాలంటే కత్తి దిగాలి అంతే బాడీలో ఆ కత్తి దిగితే ఆ క్యాన్సర్ బయటకు వస్తుంది అప్పుడు మనిషి బతుకుతాడు దట్స్ వాట్ గాడ్ ఈస్ డూయింగ్ సీ ద హోల్ పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్స్ యాంగర్ ఆన్ హిస్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఎవరు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గాడ్ ఇన్ ద ఓల్డ్ టెస్టమెంట్ ఆర్ చర్చ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ ఇన్ ద న్యూ టెస్టమెంట్ you know you know what is god's plan in that restoration first corinthians chapter 5 lo there is one very terrible story chala chala terrible story bible em untaru mundu sir itlanti di church lalo gaadu itlanti di hindus ante hindus gaadu non christians madhye lo kuda itla di jaragatledu anna heathens also don't do this anantu you know what there was one fellow um uh, his he started okay put it this way try i'll try it because pillalu unnaru kabatti chaala simple ga cheptan deni okadu unnadu vaadi girlfriend evaru telusa vaadi girlfriend evaru telusa this is a fellow you know who's his girlfriend ala south thalli వాళ్ళ నాయన పెళ్లి చేసుకున్న తర్వాత ఒక కొడుకు పుట్టిండు వీని సంగతి చెప్తున్నాం వాళ్ళ నాయన ఆమెను వదిలేసిండు ఇంకొక ఆమెను పెళ్లి చేసుకున్నాడు ఇప్పుడు ఈయన కొడుకు ఉన్నాడు చూడు వీడి గర్ల్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఎవరు తెలుసా కెన్ యూ ఇమాజిన్ దట్ హిస్ గర్ల్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఈస్ హిస్ స్టెప్ మదర్ అప్పుడు పౌలుకు తెలిసి 
వాడిని ఫస్ట్ చర్చ్ నుండి బయటపడేసింది దాని స్వెల్ ఎందుకు తెలుసా యునో వాట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ సో దాట్ హీ మైట్ నాట్ బీ డిస్ట్రాయిడ్ అంటాడు హిస్ సోల్ మైట్ బీ స్పేర్డ్ అంటాడు సో వీళ్ళ సో హీ జస్ట్ పాల్ వాజ్ పాల్ ఎట్లాంటి తెలుసా దగ్గరకు వస్తే అంత గట్టిగా మాట్లాడు బట్ వెన్ హీస్ అవే హీస్ రైటింగ్స్ ఆర్ ఊనుకు పుడుతుంది ఒక్కొక్కటి సో హీ టోల్ ద కొరింథియన్ చర్చ్ రైట్ ద హీరోన్స్ ఆల్సో డోంట్ హ్యావ్ సచ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ త్రూ దట్ ఫాలో అవుట్ ద చర్చ్ సో దే త్రూ దట్ ఫాలో అవుట్ ద చర్చ్ అప్పుడు ఉంటారు కదా సర్కిల్ కొంతమంది వాడి ఫ్రెండ్స్ అందరందరూ స్టార్ట్ చేసిండు ఏంది పాలు పెద్ద ఇదా ఏది ఆయన ముందు ఆయన ముందు మాట్లాడరు వెనక వెనక పాలు ఇంత ఇదా టూ మచ్ చేస్తున్నాడు ఆయన ఇది అపో అపోజులా అని అంటే అప్పుడు పాలు అంటాడు ఓకే సెకండ్ కొరింతియన్స్ రాస్తా అసలు నేను అపోజులో కాదు మీకు తెలియాలి అని దాట్స్ హౌ హీ రైట్స్ సెకండ్ కొరింతియన్స్ దాంట్లో సెకండ్ చాప్టర్లు అంటాడు అరే వాడిని మీరు తరిమేసి చర్చి నుండి బయటపడేసిండు కదా నౌ హీ హ్యాస్ రిపెంటెడ్ అంటాడు యు అండర్స్టాండ్ లెట్ మీ షో ఇట్ దీస్ టూ వర్సెస్ దెన్ యూ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్స్ పనిష్మెంట్ ఓకే chapter 5 uh, first corinthian chapter 5 um chapter 5 verse 5 chapter uh, first corinthian chapter 5 and verse 5 uh hand this man over to satan so that the sinful nature may be destroyed <coughs> and his spirit saved on the day of the lord artham ayina so punishment untad but look at second corinthians chapter um 2 and verse 6 he is talking with the same guy all right verse 6 the punishment inflicted on him by the majority is sufficient for him now instead you ought to forgive and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow i urge you therefore to reaffirm your love for him understand what happened this man's story so when problem was your problem he had to be thrown out of the church he was thrown out what happened he repented you know what paul said right what do he all repented or bring him back he told the same people you get the you get the point wala edo wala edo annarani paul and so god's punishment is always for what it is to restore look at this example uh, shadrach meshach and abednego we saw in book of daniel right shadrach meshach and abednego they went into uh, the fire so how many people showed up four. four people showed up so the fourth man was like the son of god so the four people are moving so dani valla em ayindi okadu gurtu pettukondi god punished uh, the israelites uh, people of judah uh, for how how long people of judah how long did he punish them 70 years 70 years ఈ సెవెంటీ ఇయర్స్ లో పనిష్మెంట్ జరిగిన దాని వలన వచ్చిన రిజల్ట్ ఏంటి వాట్ యూ గెట్ ద పాయింట్ సి గాడ్ పనిష్ దీస్ పీపుల్ టు గో ఇన్ టు క్యాప్టివిటీ ఫార్ సెవెంటీ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఇయర్స్ అండర్ నెబుక్ అన్ దెజర్ సో అప్పుడు ఆఫ్టర్ ద గాడ్ ద ఇన్ టు క్యాప్టివిటీ వాట్ వాస్ ద రిజల్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యాప్టివిటీ ద బిగ్గెస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లం దట్ దీస్ పీపుల్ హ్యాడ్ వాజ్ వాట్ ఐడిల్స్ యూ డోంట్ ఫైండ్ ఐడిల్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ బ్యాబ్లోనియన్ ఎంపైర్ you understand ye problem aithe enni rakalaga cheppi 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 try chesindu devudu kudaraledu but at the same time when he punished them a punishment lo kuda devuni plan undi so what did he do he totally removed idols so did he? from that day on till day till date no jew ever bows to an idol what is god's problem with them ekkada chusina idols are సో ఆ ఫైర్ లో పడ్డప్పుడు ఏమైపోయింది ఆ రోజు మొదలుకొని ఇస్రాయలీలు ఎవ్వరు కూడా ఐడల్ కి మొక్కలేదు ఎంతవరకు తెలుసా ఒక హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ లేటర్ ఒక రాజభవనం దగ్గర ఒక వ్యక్తి నిలబడి ఉన్నాడు సెక్యూరిటీ డ్యూటీ దగ్గర ఉండే వాళ్ళ దగ్గర నిలబడి ఉన్నాడు హామాన్ అనేవాడు వస్తుంటే అందరిట వంగి నమస్కారం చేస్తున్నాడు వీడొక్కడ మాత్రం వంగి నమస్కారం చేయట్లేదు ఎవరు తెలుసా అది మర్దకాయ మర్దకాయ నేను మనిషికి మొక్కను విగ్రహానికి మొక్కను అని ఆ రోజు స్టార్ట్ అయిన లెగసీ కేమ్ ఇన్ టు ద జూయిష్ ప్లాంట్ యూసీ దాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ గాడ్స్ పనిష్మెంట్ ఈస్ సో కొన్నిసార్లు మనం ఏం చేస్తాం తెలుసా 
we we don't want that punishment from god now bagurtu ok jd matthews and our uncle and a wonderful man of god i know jeppe varu ee prasun prasun all into prayer prayer went up to chaala mandi raledu ya chaala mandi raledu pedda pedda gaalu remember that motta with the branches but ma rendu kaalu dichi bayade vadina road me da pai nundi motta pedda pedda mudulu vadutunne ఈ పెద్ద గాలి వచ్చినప్పుడు మన మైండ్లో ఏముంటుంది చెప్పండి నాకు బలభయం చిన్నప్పుడు అయితే వీడు ఈ పిల్లల ఏజ్ వీళ్ళ వీళ్ళ ఏజ్ అప్పుడైతే అదే మీటింగ్ పోయినాం ప్రేయర్ మీటింగ్ పోయితే ఆల్ నైట్ ప్రేయర్కి ఆల్ నైట్ ప్రేయర్ అంత పెద్ద పెద్ద గాలులు వస్తుంటే టెంట్లు షామిని ఎగిరిపోతుండే మా అమ్మ మా అమ్మని అంటే కట్టి పట్టుకుని పడుకున్నా ఏం కాదులేని ఆయన ఏం కాదులే ఏం కాదులే భయపడుతున్నా అంటారు అంత పెద్ద పెద్ద గాలులు ఇలా వాటి జేడి మ్యాథ్యూస్ అంకుల్ సార్ ఈ పెద్ద పెద్ద గాలు వచ్చినప్పుడు ఏ ఏ చెట్లకు అయితే మంచి రూట్స్ ఉంటాయో అవి పడిపోతాయని భయపడతాం కానీ అవి మంచిగా కదులుతాయి అంట కదిలినప్పుడు సాయిల్ అంతా షేక్ అవుతుంది అంట షేక్ అయినప్పుడు మళ్ళీ నీళ్ళు వచ్చినప్పుడు ఏమైంది తెలుసా ఆ రూట్స్ ఇంకా గట్టి పడతాయి అంట యూనో దట్స్ వాట్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఇస్ గాడ్స్ ఈజ్ యూనో ఐ పనిష్ యూ బట్ యూనో వాట్ దెర్ ఇస్ గ్రేస్ అండ్ మర్సీ ఇన్ ద పనిష్మెంట్ దెర్ ఇస్ సమ్ బ్లెస్సింగ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ హీ టేక్స్ అస్ అండ్ దాట్స్ వాట్ గాడ్ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ యూ I am going to tear you apart. You know, 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 he, Hosea chapter 13 verse 8. Pillala poina, Pillalu poina yellow banti, Oka nila padu natlu, Nenu vaar meela padi, Vaari rommu nu chee chee veedu. Aadu singu nu oka ni mringi veedu natlu, Vaari ni mringi veedu nu. Dushtuma, Dushtuma nilamalu. ఇ ఇప్పుడు చీల్ చేస్తాను అనమాట మన హైదరాబాద్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో చెప్పాలంటే చీరదా పెద్ద మాట ఎందుకు అంటాం కదా యూనో హూ సేయింగ్ దిస్ వర్డ్ గాడ్ ఐ విల్ టేర్ దెమ్ అపార్ట్ వర్స్ నైన్ యు ఆర్ డిస్ట్రాయిడ్ ఓ ఇజ్రియల్ బికాస్ యు ఆర్ అగెన్స్ట్ మీ అగెన్స్ట్ యువర్ హెల్పర్ యా సమ్బడి రీడ్ ఇన్ కింగ్ జేమ్స్ verse 9 139 who is israel thou hast destroyed thyself ah you want to know you have destroyed thyself etla ah uh, go on read it but in me is thine help yeah so he says you know you are against me anant you have destroyed you are destroyed israel because you are against me let me tell you the converse of it there are places in the scripture where god says i am against you Nahum chapter 2 Book of Nahum chapter 2 This is not the same thing that you can do with this thing. This is not the same thing that you can do with this. No problem. Book of Nahum chapter 2 and verse 13. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 13. Did you find it? I am against you. Yeah. What does it say? I am against you declares the Lord. Almighty chapter 3 and verse 5 Same thing I am against you declares the Lord Almighty So ever unto the matter God says I am against you Prove can we can we sustain that situation when God says I am against you here they God says you are against me Hey I am your helper I am here to help you what are you trying to look at Are nanu shatru laga chustha vendra ane ni ni help cheyadam kostunte antar de So you understand what is the previous verses? He says, I'll tear you into pieces. And he says, you know what God says? There is a punishment and a blessing. You get the point? You need to understand the heart of God is against you. You get the point? You need to understand the heart of God and at the same time heart of Hosea. Remember what he went through in his life, right? Okay. Chapter 13, verse 10. Now he says, you know, God sometimes, you know, he, he just uh, speaks very sarcastically. Look at verse 10. Where is your king that he may save you? Hey, you are king, king, and you are king, you are king, you are king, you are king, you are king. Where is that king, where is your king today? He is not there. Where is your king that he may save you? Where are your rulers in all your towns of whom you said, give me a king and princess? So in my anger, I gave you a king. This is about Saul. And in my wrath, I took him away. This is the last king of Israel. israel he, 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 I, i let me tell you this you know in context time lo israel has already gone into captivity you get the point 
Hosea is divided like you know in such a fashion that um, almost a half of the story is before Israel went into captivity but right where it's still in the middle of uh, book of Hosea the people have gone into captivity so now God is saying hey where is your king fellow king help that's what God is saying here look at verse 12 the guilt of Ephraim is stored up his sins are kept on record you know uh, there is two things I want to share with you at this point of time God let me ask you does God keep a record of our sins does God keep a record of our sins Yeah. Jude, uh, sorry, um, Jeremiah chapter 17. This is where the Bible study comes into picture. Of course, once more you'll get that. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 1. Somebody read that. Judah's sin is engraved with an iron tool inscribed with a flint point on the tablets of their hearts and on the horns of their altars. Tell me what Are you reading verse 2? Are you reading verse 1? Diamond. So, diamond point and diamond, you cannot break it. Very uh, diamond cuts or diamond, right? Mm -hmm. So very strong on matter. Yakarasindi. Adivari Gudemula Nedi Palaka Palakala Mida Nu Chakabadi Unadi. Huh. Rudaya Rudemula Palakala Mida Adi Chakabadi Nata. So whereas late with an day uh what edo okay edo j uh C Z D Lord Japan Yemra homework daily do anata cook in his cook and agash in the natural. Yeah? You mind the homework and test later with Rajna Sar Kukanakeshna. See, this is not something that can be wiped away. It cannot be wiped away. You know what? You need to understand. Okay, let's try to understand this. Does God count the sin against us? Is that the question? It cannot be erased. Yeah, it cannot be erased. I want you to understand something very interesting. Book of Numbers. Chapter 14 and verse 22. Book of Numbers, chapter 14 and verse 22. Sankhya Kandamu, Padnalgo Adhyayamu, Irvai Rendo Vachinamu. Not, uh, I'll read from 21, okay? Uh, Nevertheless, as surely as I live and as surely as the glory of the Lord fills the whole earth, not one of the men who saw my glory and the miraculous signs are performed in Egypt and in the desert, but who disobeyed me and tested me. How many times? Ante other twenty. Huh? Yeah. So, Madhla, five and the six and the Jupiter, na? Five and the six and the seven and the. Hey, inka inka runner run. Ten or run ke Jupiter, na? No, you live your life. No problem. You live your life. You know what God was doing? He was counting. Okay. Correct time achindi. Another. Ten times a So let me give you an answer to that question. Real quick. Uh, those of you who want to take notes, you can take notes. What are the ten times? Where is it in the scripture? Okay. Write down this one. Number one. Exodus chapter 14 verse 11. Exodus 15 24. Exodus 14.11 is when? You know what is 14.11? When they came to the Red Sea and they what? They grumbled against uh, Moses. Chapter 15 verse 25. So verse 24. They came to a place called Mara. Right? And then chapter 16 verse 2. That's when they said where is the food for us? What did God do? He provided manna. Exodus chapter 16 verse 20. What is that? Even after no, even after God gave them manna, He said, "Don't take extra." What did they do? They kept extra. So, I'm a Chapter 16, verse 27. 
chapter 16 verse 27 yeah what did some of them see first of all they gathered more than what they were told secondly he said don't gather on the sabbath day did they gather on the sabbath day yes yeah. chapter 16 verse 27 then chapter 17 and verse 3 they complained for what Close. water right that's when the when uh, moses uh, hits the rock with the stick right and then exodus chapter 32 what did you, what did they do in exodus 32 chapter uh, 32 verse 8 they made a calf and worshiped that calf when moses was on the mountain chapter uh, so come to numbers chapter 11 and verse 1 Numbers chapter 11 verse 1. You know what is it? Numbers chapter 11 verse 1. Where they grumbled against God. Sanikin ranta. You know, Sanikin ranta. A martel pakkodik gula vinu padu. Kaani yor kinu, yor kinu paddei. Devul kinu paddei. Sanikutu unta kata, gorukutu unta ru. Eh, inta sepa indi jesthu, yen jesthu, yen jesthu, yen jesthu. You know, ad pakkanu unta yavudu inu padu. Inu padu kwe. He's watching. So, Numbers chapter 11 verse 1. Numbers chapter 11 verse 20. Yeah, verse 20. This is where they wanted what? Meat. Maku mamsam gavale under. Mamsam gavale ante. You know what the Bible says? Huh? Right. Me kinta jees perthen te buddhi le dara meko. Thinandra, thinandra. What? Ani he brought quails. You know when he punished them? You know when he punished them? Chappani gurthunal story. Not lo irukhade. Toothpick this con this thing alone. Huh? Mutton biryani at the mutton curry at the Adipanla Madalo Irkunta. So we take a toothpick. In Catalan Irkunanta. A put what in the Nutlon on the name. You know, then what came up with a martel and the Kuni Bankraman artillery. Break their teeth in their mouth and under. Huh? Shatrulani, break their teeth in their mouth and under. When I drew the washer, it was called Muth or the book. God says that. You know, they were asking for food, any meat, while they still had it in their teeth. God punished them. Numbers chapter 13 and verse 2 onwards. You know, this is when they came all the way to Kadesh Barnia and they had to just take one step and go inside. They said, I don't think this is right. Let us try to spy the land. This time lo they were trying to right ten times now. Wow. Abhi mano anta bhai pada jab pani. They would like a birth nanta. But at the same time, you know what he does? If you go confess your sins before him, mood matalu. They will walk him lo nae. Mika Grandamu, book of Micah, chapter seven and verse. 19. You have hurled our iniquities into the depths of the sea. Samudra Agadamaloki Ma Papamulanu Padavesta Vanta. Yatantrata Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 34. Jeremiah 31 34 he says, I will no longer remember their sins. I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins. No more. Third thing, book of Isaiah, chapter 38 and verse 17. Book of Isaiah, chapter 38 and verse 17. He says, I have put all, you have put all my sins behind your back. Isaiah 38, 17, Jeremiah 31, 34, and then Micah chapter 7, verse 19. So, what does it mean? Manam Papa Lopkola Danko, Manam Account Bergutanam. God is he, has, he is keeping in mind, right? I know. Ten times. Suddenly at the Japurki boss Japanko. Dude, office law. Suddenly the boss he was waiting. He was giving a long rope. Suddenly he calls you one day. Seven times I saw you, you left before time. No sir, I always am on time, no, I finish my work and go. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, CD play. Yeah. CD play. <laughs> 5 o'clock. It's 4.40. It's 4.40. Count there. Right. Right. One. Uh, so last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. What is the mood? What is the mood? 
అట్లా చేస్తే ఇంటికి వచ్చిన తర్వాత నిద్రపోతావు కాలు పట్టుకుని సార్ తప్పైపోయింది సార్ క్షమించండి ఉద్యోగానికే మనం ఇంత చేస్తే మన పాపాల గురించి యు నో వెన్ వీ డోంట్ కన్ఫెస్ దాట్ సెన్ బిఫోర్ గాడ్ ఈ సేస్ ఐ విల్ రిమెంబర్ యో గాడ్ ఈస్ ఏ గాడ్ హూ ఈస్ అ లవింగ్ గాడ్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఈస్ అ రైచియస్ గాడ్ నీతి కలిగిన దేవుడు అంటాడు ఓకే రైట్ లెట్స్ మూవ్ ఆన్ హూస్ ఏ చాప్టర్ థర్టీన్ అండ్ వర్స్ ఫోర్ థర్టీన్ ద పెయిన్ జాస్ ఆఫ్ అ ఉమన్ ఇన్ చైల్డ్ బర్డ్ కమ్ టు హిమ్ but he is a child without wisdom when the time arrives he does not come to the opening of the womb verse 14 i will ransom them from the power of the grave i will redeem them from the death where o oh, death are your plagues where o oh, grave is your destruction i have no compassion even though he thrives among his brothers an east wind from the lord will come blowing in from the desert his spring will fall and his well drought will dry up his store houses will be plundered of all its treasures suddenly they will ki emaitada gaani inta tirtadu kada inta tirtadu kada are ya tena na korku var antadu ore right right suddenly see look at what the, he says in verse 14 i will ransom them from the power of the grave verse 1 lo em annadu you are dead to me annadu ikkada em antadu i will ransom you from the power of the grave and then he says i will redeem them from death put em anadu you are dead to me anadu da i will redeem them from the death and then he says where o death so easter is coming right so easter alone na beauty enti cheppandi god is challenging death and sin where o death i o plagues where o grave is your destruction o maranama nee mulla ikkada see for first corinthians 1555 same things repeated there o maranama nee mulla ikkada o samadhi nee vijayamu ekkada right so this is what he's saying here look at verse 15 i want to share with you something interesting here verse 15 even though he thrives among his brothers an east wind from the lord will come let me ask you this one thing i have never done this before but i, I want to ask you something did you ever do any bible study or hear any bible study on a topic of east wind north wind yeah east wind vinara very powerful concept in the scripture na life lo nen first time east wind gurinchi ee roju cheptunna in my 28 years of christian life you can imagine how beautiful this word of god is you know what this east wind does it does a few things i'll tell you real quick okay so this is where your notes comes into handy when you come for the bible study yeah darja laga kurchani o lord saab laga vaste ee anni gurtundavu ఇంకోటి చెప్తా చూడండి మీకు ఒక హోంవర్క్ ఇస్తా ఓకే మీకు ఒక హోంవర్క్ ఇప్పుడే చెప్తున్నా ఈరోజు ఇక్కడ హోజే అయిపోతుంది నెక్స్ట్ వెన్స్డే అయ్యాలంటే మీ ఇంట్లో కదా నెక్స్ట్ వెన్స్డే ఏనో వాట్ వీ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఒక్కొక్క ఫ్యామిలీకి ఒక్కొక్క చాప్టర్ ఇస్తా దాని సారాంశం దాని సమ్మరీ చెప్పాలా హోజేలు అర్థమైందా ఇప్పుడు చూద్దాం మీ మెమరీ మీ ఎంత తీసి మార్కాలు ఎంతెంత మెమరీ యాట్స్ వై సెడ్ యూ నీడ్ టు రైట్ డౌన్ యూ నో వాట్ జీసస్ వాజ్ వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఈ టాట్ హిస్ డిసైపుల్స్ ఈ సెట్ డిడ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ అని అడిగేవాడు ఈ సెట్ డిడ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ అని అడిగేవాడు సో యూస్ టు సే ఇదేమీ అర్థం అవుతే ఇంకా పెద్ద పెద్ద ఏం అర్థమవుతారు అని అనేవాడు యూస్ టు డూ దట్ యూ వాజ్ యూస్ టు టేక్ అకౌంటబిలిటీ అండ్ సే యూ నీడ్ టు లర్న్ దిస్ యూ గెరెట్ యు నో ప్లీజ్ ట్రై టు అండర్స్టాండ్ సో you may you have a cheat for this you know what is a cheat <coughs> all these are recorded there <laughs> okay go to facebook and then pick up that chapter and then every family i'm going to us uh, a lot and you're going to study this and then come and uh, both husband and wife both husband and wife will have to share the uh, summary of one of the chapters or maybe if you are uh, if i think you are more capable i may give you two chapters also <laughs> okay so please remember that east wind let me give you real quick you know what is the meaning of east wind judgment east wind means judgment you know exodus chapter 14 what happened chapter 12 uh, when, when you see exodus 14 you see here the story israelites were coming and they were moving ahead 
So between the Israelites and the Egyptians who were chasing them, what came in? The pillar of cloud came back, the pillar of light came back. How did they separate? How did the water separate or how did these people, uh, the difference came between these people? Because of what? East wind. Right? Because of east wind. Second thing. East wind also destroys crops. You remember the dream that uh, uh, king uh, of Egypt, Pharaoh got in Genesis chapter 41. In Genesis chapter 41, he got a dream that you know seven cows, very uh, weak cows, they ate a strong cows. And then immediately he got another dream that seven, what? Weak stocks ate seven strong stocks. And then the wind came. What happened? What did that wind do? What is that, what is that wind that came? What was that? East wind. Right? That was an east wind. Also, uh, east wind can destroy ships also. East wind is so powerful, it can destroy ships also. Look at Psalm chapter 48, verse 7. Psalms chapter 48 and verse 7. You labored, you destroyed them like sheep of Tarshi, shattered by an east wind. Right? Shattered by east wind. Okay. Uh, the, the east wind can also scatter and sweep people away. It can sweep people away. One classic example, book of Jonah. Book of Jonah chapter 4. What do you see here? What was Jonah waiting for? What was he waiting for when he saw that? He was waiting for the people of Nineveh to be destroyed. So suddenly what God brought? Brought a creeper. When he brought the creeper, uh, Jonah got the shade. How was the creeper destroyed? Jonah chapter 4 and verse 8. When the sun rose, God provided a scorching east wind. You get it? East wind is always a symbol of judgment. Now come back and read this. Hosea 13, 15. Even though he thrives among his brothers, an east wind from the Lord will come blowing in from the desert. His spring will fail he, and his well dry up. His storehouses will be plundered and all its treasures. 16. The people of Samaria must bear their guilt because they have rebelled against their God. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped open. Oh my goodness. This is terrible even to read. And this is what happened in the life of Israel. Not just uh, after they got, went into Assyria. But also, you know, during the time of Nero. And it's also coming. All the pregnant women during the cold days, winter days. It's not good for a woman, a pregnant woman during the winter days. After the rapture, it's going to be deadly, dangerous, is what the Bible says. Chapter 14. So, cha no, what is here? chapter uh, 13 verse 16? It is kind of a clear-cut summary of a judgment. Right? See the language there? The people of Samaria, Samaria is what's capital of? Israel. The people of Samaria must bear their guilt because they have rebelled against their God. See, very clear. They will fall by the sword and their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped open. Chapter 14. You know what God says? Suddenly his attitude changes now. He says, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. So he is clearly telling where the problem is. Kavati malla tirigi randi anachunadu. Look at verse 2. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, See, right? Problem You get it? Right? See, a doctor gives you three C's. Three C's. When you go to a doctor, he'll tell you the um, cause of the problem. He'll give you the cure for the problem. And he also will, will give you the care for the problem. He'll give you the cause, he'll give you the cure, and he will also give you the Okay, see that's what God is doing. He's say, telling you the reason why you fell. And then at the same time he says, you know what? He's giving them an invitation back and he also tells them what to do. Okay. So he says, verse 2. Say to him. And a dictation, 
మదర్ చేస్తుండదు కొన్నిసార్లు యా మదర్ ఇంత ప్యాషన్ కంపాషనేట్గా వస్తుంది అంటే అరే ఈ డాడీకి అది సారీ డాడీ ఐ విల్ నాట్ డూ దిస్ అగైన్ రాసిరా రాసిరా రేపు అయిపోతుందిరా అంటారు కదా సో దాట్స్ వాట్ గాడ్ ఇస్ సేయింగ్ ఇస్ ఎస్ సే టు హిమ్ ఫర్ గివ్ అస్ ఆల్ అవర్ సిన్స్ అండ్ రిసీవ్ అస్ గ్రేషియస్లీ దాట్ వి మే ఆఫర్ ద ఫ్రూట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ లిప్స్ ఫ్రూట్ ఆఫ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ లిప్స్ సీ హీ ఈస్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఫర్ గివింగ్ సిన్స్ బై వాట్ ద ఫ్రూట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ lips forgiving sins in the old testament happens by how offering an animal as sacrifice devudu antu telsa anta avasaram ledra bhai nu anta anta dabbul betti anta anta animals koni dani iskochya enne avasaram ledhu with your lips you ask him to say forgive me aipothadra bhai see what a wonderful god is look at verse 3 assyria cannot save us we will not mount war horses we will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made for in you the fatherless find compassion verse 4 i will heal their waywardness waywardness in <laughs> niv is in king james backsliding remember backsliding backsliding ante venaka ki jaru podam so and love them freely for my anger has turned away from them i will be like the dew to israel now i want you to underline some of the words and see the beauty in this okay Uh, I'll read that and tell you, underline that. Look at verse 5. I will be like the dew to Israel. Dew, but what is the word? Dew. What is the word? Manchu. 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 Fog. Fog. No. Dew is... Uh, uh, leaves me. Water droplets. Water droplets. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the word is called in Telugu. Manchu. Huh? Manchu is fog. Manchu is snow. హిమము ఇస్నో ఓకే ఐ ఇట్ విల్ సో అది పడింది అంటే అర్థం ఏంటి దేర్ ఇస్ దేర్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ గుడ్ హ్యాపీ సి గ్రౌండ్ ఇస్ బికమింగ్ మాయిస్ట్ అంటే అర్థం ఏంటి యా ఒక లైఫ్ రాబోతుంది అన్నదానికి సూచన ఇట్ విల్ బి ఐ ఇట్ విల్ బి ఐ ఐ విల్ బి లైక్ డ్యూ అండర్లైన్ డ్యూ హీ విల్ బ్లాజమ్ సి చూసారా హీ విల్ బ్లాజమ్ లైక్ అ లిల్లీ రైట్ లైక్ అ సీడార్ of lebanon cedar he will send down his roots susara see try to understand how god gives the success it is not just casual etched you have to go where the young shoots will grow he will send down his roots yeah he will send down his roots right roots ostune roots osthe em avutadi fruit ostadi right so and his young shoots will grow there is growth there look at verse 6 uh, his young shoots will grow his splendor will be like an olive tree his fragrance like the cedars of lebanon cedar verse 7 men will dwell again in his shade shade undante kodiga edo pedda undal kada akkada right verse 7 uh, the second part he will flourish vardillanam undi like the grain he will blossom right blossom like a vine his fame will be like the wine from lebanon wine is a indication of joy right look at verse 8 o ephraim what more have i to do with the idols idols i will answer him and care for him i am like a green pine tree see green tree so ipudu chudandi enta beautiful idoka spring picture laga ledhi there is life there there is greenery there there is big, there is flowers there there is big trees there that's how god says i'm going to bless my children are you started telling them you are dead to me and but you come back to me din kantariki basis cheppandi when you say lord forgive me i want to come back to you this is what's going to happen look at verse 9 who is wise he will realize these things who is discerning he will understand them the way of the lord are right. the ways of the lord are right the righteous walk in them but the rebellious stumble in them you know what is god doing <coughs> he is still giving them choice see god will never force anybody and say hey cheyara atla anjali are idu cheyara da cheste manchi ayyadu ra niku anantadu right let me read this uh, uh, verse and then we will close the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19 this day chapter 30 3019 3019 this day i call heaven and earth as a witnesses against you that i have said before you life and death blessings and curses you what i put before you life and death blessings and curses 
You know how he ends this verse? He says, now choose life so that you and your children will live. Adhi Devan plan. Don't you have Life undi, death undi. Right? Then there are the blessings and curses. Are you blessings in life? Let's go. I don't know. Next time. You know, God is a very gentle person. He doesn't force his decision on us. He says, it's up to you. It's up to you. You want to come in? I'll welcome you. You want to ask God for forgiveness? I'll forgive you. But if you say, no, I don't care, man. It's all right. I have my reserved judgments. So it is, it is God's love that we see that God says, you know, I want you to come back. So therefore, mana jivitam lo mana ye exit tundi ye telpoi namo. Yeah. Usually, I exit the gra inko ka beautiful concept hai. Aadhe exit le unta. Oka. Mala tirgaan kya or scope ho chaal exits le unta. Missai pe na unko kudhi kar mundu mein dekho aste. Mala vena kakarke. Kudhi recalculating unta di. Kudhi ka nastamai unta di. Gas bo unta di. Time bo unta di. Tension unta di. Kani mala yeh unta di. You can come back to the main path. You know, that's what God is saying. That's how Book of Hosea ends.